When Discord rears its ugly head within a community, and I trust you have noticed that within the so-called YouTube atheist community, there has been quite a bit of pretty vehement dispute, discord, even I would almost call it a war of sorts between certain people within this community. There always tend to be two responses that bubble up from the community and that get expressed around the disputes. And the two responses that I want to address here, the first one is that people tend to start hand-wringing about the state of the community and start asking people to please just bury the hatchet, unite again within the community and um, start singing of the same hymn sheet because we don't want this community to die. And then the other response is for some people to distance themselves from the community and to say like, well, I'm not really part of this community anyway. And I don't think either of those responses is valid or helpful at all. In the sense that, first of all, you don't often get to decide what community you are part of. You don't often actually sign on the dotted line some agreement that you are becoming part of a certain community. It is often a fluke or an accident of circumstance that leads you to be part of a community. You move into a city and suddenly you become part of the community of people who live in that city. You don't believe in any gods, you don't buy into the concept of gods, whatever the hell they are, and you participate on YouTube and de facto you are a member of the YouTube atheist community, whatever that is. But that doesn't oblige you to anything. And that is the mistake that the first lot of people are making. They see this community, they observe the fact that this community has arisen on this site, and they somehow think that that obliges the members of that community to start singing of the same hymn sheet to fall in line behind a particular set of ideas or even worse some leader figure some people present themselves as leaders of this community and fully expect others to fall in line behind them and buy into their particular set of ideas and that's absurd that's nonsensical. We are under no such ob nobody in this community is under any such obligation to anyone within this community. The way I see it, and maybe I'm waxing a little bit lyrical here, but we are all making our journey through life in a way. And sometimes you look around and you'll see that there are other people around you who are also walking alongside you in a similar direction on the same road as yourself for a bit. And when that happens I would say, well, enjoy the company, make the most of it. But always remember that those people who are walking alongside you on that journey are making their own journeys, are going their own way. So by all means, either walk alongside them or step aside when you notice that they are starting to move in a different direction. But don't get in their way. That's the important thing. Everybody has their own decisions to make in life. And this is one of them. As long as you're here, as long as you happen to be somebody who doesn't believe in gods and who happens to be on YouTube, you are a YouTube atheist. But how you're going to be that, what way you're going to present yourself, and what opinions you are going to present here, are your choice. And you shouldn't allow yourself to be bullied into going any way other than the way you want to go. And that's all I wanted to say for now.